Right, let's go into the courts. And the High Court in Accra is set to rule on the admissibility of an audio recording involving the Attorney General and businessman Richard Jackpa in the ongoing ambulance trial. The controversy began when lawyers for the minority leader, Dr. Kassila Tufosen, sought to introduce a recording as evidence. The Attorney General objected, disputing its foundation and relevance previously admitted and influential in the trial, a judge's decision to declare a mistrial on June 6, 2024. The recording is being presented by, again by defense lawyers. They, they contend uh, that it is crucial to the charges against the Attorney General and Minister of Justice for causing financial loss to the state. My colleague, Jeffrey Atipo, is in court and he's joined us via Zoom. Jeffrey, uh, so what else happened in court? Uh, Jeffrey, can you unmute? I, I think you're still muted, so you're not audible. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Yes, yes. Take us through. All right. All right. So as we speak, uh, proceedings are yet to uh, start uh, because even though it's, we, uh, it's supposed to start at 12, as we speak, uh, the judge who is sitting on the case is not yet in. And I know that as soon as uh, she steps in the courtroom, um, I mean, she will begin to do justice to the issue. But like it's earlier on said, uh, that's the, uh, there's going to be a ruling on the admissibility of, of that audio tape that the, the, the accused uh, person uh, sought to tender uh, into evidence at the court here. So the moment the judge, I mean, Justice Etiasewa, uh, Afaribotri, uh, steps into the courtroom, uh, she is going, the first thing she's going to be doing is to deliver judgments on that uh, part, uh, particular issue. Then, apart from that, um, the accused uh, persons, or, uh, Honorable uh, Atul Forces lawyer and uh, uh, counsel, I mean, Edward uh, I mean, I mean, I will have to uh, cross-examine the uh, third accused, which is uh, Richard Jaffa, uh, on to give evidence uh, based on the questions that uh, he's going to be uh, 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 answering. So right after the judgment, that is what is going to be happening. There's going to be cross-examination uh, of the third accused person, uh, Richard Jaffa. But Annie, let me tell you this, that a, a while ago, uh, I was in court. I got to the uh, parliament. I left uh, parliament uh, around uh, 11.30, and not a single member of the minority uh, was in the chamber, even though the doors were open, not a single member of the minority members in parliament was in the chamber, all because the other day they said a notice that any time uh, Dr. Atufosi, who is the minority leader, is going to be in court, they will follow him uh, to the court, just in solidarity uh, for him. So, as we speak, members of parliament on the minority side are not in the chamber because, uh, I mean, uh, Business was supposed to start at 10 o'clock, and so yeah. usually around 10, mm. they're going. But have we you spotted them, some, I mean, uh, some, have you spotted some in the courts, uh, 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 you know, surroundings? Yes, I've, 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 I've seen um, uh, one of the MPs, uh, Joseph uh, Kuma, uh, I have seen him in there, but I'm, I'm looking forward to see a number of them because, as we speak, uh, um, now the judge is not yet in. People are, I mean, individuals or concerned uh, persons are beginning to troop into the courtroom. So I, I've not seen, but I've seen Honorable Atu Forsen, uh, together with his lawyer, uh, Edwidi Tamekulo. They are in there, uh, waiting for proceedings to, to start. So as we stand, as, as, as we speak, this is what is happening now. Uh, the judgment is here to start, but I'm sure when the judge uh, if you are uh, Sarah Sari, steps into the courtroom, absolutely she will deliver judgment on that issue. Right. What's the anticipation like, considering the fact that people uh, were asking questions why Richard Jaffa did not first, you know, uh, tender that video or audio evidence in uh, during his uh, uh, cross-examination? You know, during the last two sitting, he sought to do that. When uh, the uh, counsel for the minority leader, uh, Edward G. Tamberflo, uh, was to cross-examine him, he asked him if uh, he has that audio tape with him. So he sought to send out that particular audio tape. But what the judge said that day was that the judge told them that because 
uh, the attorney general and his team don't have uh, that particular uh, audio tape that he thought to tell. I was on a pen drive. So he had to serve them with the copy of that particular uh, uh, audio that he sought to tender at the court uh, so that they have a, a clearer look at it. They listen to it and get to know that this is exactly what is going to be tendered uh, in court. So on that day, the judge decided that you the judge uh, agenda the case and ask them or ask him to um, provide copies of, of that particular audio tape that he sought to tender. So, um, I'm sure today, uh, I mean, depending on the judgment, we are we are going to uh, better understand uh, what, uh, because I was not here in the previous uh, 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 sitting, which was on Tuesday, and I, I believe that uh, out of the judgment, the judgment that the judge is going to be given today, we will we, we, we get a lot of information from that. Jeffrey Atipo, I'm grateful. Uh, we, we're all anxious and anticipating what's going to happen in court. Probably will be exciting. So we'll be following through and we'll bring you all the reports and how uh, the sitting today will go.